Yes, sir. Of Let's course, go. you can see how we are being ah, handled now. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh, like common criminals, you are based on the fact that we are campaigning in Kawata. And we are being charged for the campaign message in Kawata. Seeking that the people vote for a safe country. So, this is basically what we are being subjected to. He has not been charged. He's been detained without being formally arrested. And uh, as you may have noticed at the uh, inquiries, he inquired of them as to why they were not going to arrest him. And uh, the state has told us they have the right to put him there. They've warned and cautioned him. They've uh, said the charges that they wish to prefer against him, but they've neglected to arrest him and charge him for those particular uh, offenses that they prefer, which is a travesty of justice. According to them, that is defamatory of the president. And when he proposed to the people to vote for Clement Tembo in order, in order to resolve their land dispute, according to them, he was proposing the, the, uh, to the people that they become violent. That's according to, to, to the state. But at this point, we are going to challenge it. He'll be put in custody at Challenger Police. He has not been charged as yet. We hope he will be charged before the court. So that we deal with this matter once and for all. That's it. No, what has happened is that there was a one and caution statement that was given. And I was explaining to your colleagues to say that they preferred two charges. The first charge is defamation of, of the president. We have failed to understand how that defamation comes because they're saying the figure of speech to say take a matter is defamatory of the president. That is in the first count. In the second count, they are saying that he was proposing violence when he told the people of Maplot to say, the person to take care of your interests, with the information that we received to say, government intends to remove you from this land, he is Clement Tembo, therefore vote for Clement Tembo. According to them, he was not proposing for people to vote, he was proposing for them to be violent or break the law. That is what uh, they are saying. So they have moved into Chilenja for purposes of an arrest and uh, possibly take the matter to court. Over the same two charges? Over the same two charges. Okay, so what does this entail as the lawyer that is representing him is already facing a defamation case which is already before the well, court? This, what does it entail? I think, I think the charges will not hold at all. Firstly, he has a freedom to express himself. Secondly, since when did the figure of speech become defamatory. There are a lot of figures of speech which sound even much worse than that. There's a figure of speech saying, meaning don't interject me. I haven't finished saying what I have to say. And you can't say that a figure of speech is defamatory. He was on a campaign trail and was telling the people, vote for this candidate. You have these problems. We are aware you have these problems. So the way to resolve is to vote for this candidate. It has been twisted to say he was proposing violence. That is not how we should be in a democratic society. And it's for that, purposes, uh, that purpose that the courts exist to be able to resolve such injustices. And we hope they'll be able to take this matter quickly to court. But I can imagine going to court to talk about HH Tekama Takopanshi as a whole thing to deal with. It is improper that we should be talking about such things. It is improper that we should be explaining figures of speech in court as being defamatory, it is improper. And I would advise the state, if indeed this is the way to go, let us as well 
make sure that all figures of speech that supposedly sound disrespectful should be classified as defamatory. In which, in this case, there is nothing defamatory about what he said. There was nothing that was proposing violence or a breach of any law for that matter. We look forward to dealing with this matter in court. Thanks.